Hi, so today we are discussing about obesity in dogs. What is obesity? How can you tell if your dog is obese or not? What are the risks of canine obesity? So, what is obesity? When your dog weighs more than 10 to 20% of the ideal body weight, that is known as overweight. If it exceeds more than 20%, that is known as obesity. So how do you know whether your dog is obese or not? How do you know what the current weight is? Or how do you know what the ideal weight is? And that is where the concept of body condition score is potentially much more important than just a number on the weighing scales. What do I mean by that? There isn't really an sort of a ideal weight as a number that's printed in a chart for your dog. You have to find out what body condition is your dog, which is more important compared to a number on the scales. So body conditioning, what does that mean? So we have a particular, there is a particular scale called a body conditioning score. So usually it is, the grade is one to nine. Um, there are various skills out there, but the one we commonly use is one to nine, where one is too skinny and nine is too fat and five is ideal. So how do you know what a five out of nine looks like? It looks something like this. When you look at the dog from the top and you're seeing the chest and the waist, there should be a gradation, a difference between a chest and a waist. When you're looking at a dog from the side, you see a chest tapering into a waist. More importantly, the, more, the most uh, obvious thing that you can do, the most obvious uh, bit that you can see and gauge is the ribs. Have a little feel down your dog's ribs. You should be able to feel the ribs fairly easily. You shouldn't be able to see the ribs. If you see the ribs quite distinctly, it well could be a little bit too skinny. However, if you can not see, but you feel it and you only find a very, very uh, thin layer of fats between your fingers and the ribs and you can feel each rib quite well, it might mean that your dog is in good body condition. That, when you get that body condition, then you look at the weight. That number is more relevant to your dog than any other dogs in the world. What are the risks of canine obesity? What happens when your dog is too fat or too obese and it's uh, more than 20% of what um, the weight should be from its ideal weight. What really, really happens? Is it that bad? There are a few implications of canine uh, obesity. So one is that instantly, as you can imagine, it's just heavier. So it puts more workload to your heart and potentially uh, causing uh, your, work, the, your little dog's heart to work harder and may develop hypertension as well. Other medical issues that they can potentially um, sort of uh, face would be things like um, diabetes. They can also cause problems, whereby if the um, little doggy is too fat, it's just more work for the pancreas, okay, and can lead to diabetes as well. If in general, your dog is too fat, it can sometimes shorten the lifespan by two months or even as long as two years. Uh, because of all the extra workload that your dog's organs has to perform for the extra weight. So, last but not least, arthritis. This, because your dog is heavier, there is actually more workload on the joints uh, and potentially can cause earlier arthritis compared to a much lighter, fitter dog. And also, it is a vicious cycle. If it's heavier, you will not want to move as much because it's just too much effort to move from A to B. And hence, they become lazier um, and they lead a much more sedentary life. And that can be a problem because it just creates a vicious cycle. Too heavy, don't exercise. Don't exercise, gets too heavy. It's a vicious cycle. So, I've listed four common problems. Heart issues, diabetes, shorter lifespan, arthritis. There are many, many other little conditions that can also be caused by obesity, but these are the four main ones. So the question is, is your dog obese? Go and feel your dog. Comment below 
what body condition score you think your dog is. If you're not sure, check with your vet. I look forward to see you at the next live event. This is Amity.